This here is the MS-271. This is the TNA-0006 by Biltart. So here it is, the Echo CS-590. Here's the MS-291 steel. Welcome back everyone, Joe here. Hope everyone's doing well. So today I'm gonna to do a comparison of my MS-291 steel, my Echo CS-590, my Built Hard TNA-0006, and my buddy David, this is company right here, his farm boss, I believe that's a 271. You guys know this, I'm a regular homeowner, so I'm not a tree company. This is gonna be a comparison video from the cheapest saw working my way up to the most expensive saw. I'm probably gonna make one or two cuts out of this. This is a poplar tree right here one or two cuts each time it see how it goes all the chains are sharp all the chains are new so we should have no issue going through this uh this is going to probably be a very quick video again i'm just going to give you guys my opinion on how i think it's not a full-blown comparison video i'm not a pro you guys let me know you guys let me know which brands you guys like and it's just showing you guys different companies different brands and different ranges and prices of chainsaw so with that being said i'm going to go ahead from the i'll say it lightly the least expensive saw up so i'm going to use my built hard tna 006 and start making one or two cuts here and show you guys how that works i retired the green sweatshirt for right now um i've lost about 20 pounds ish so uh, i'm wearing sweatshirts that now fit me a little bit tighter a little bit better they're not as loose and sloppy especially when i'm doing chainsaw stuff uh, I guess it's, you know, I'm going to end up destroying this one just like I did with the other one. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I have that green one in my closet. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. We're going to go get hit that TNA startup and make a few cuts here and see how it goes. This is the TNA 0006 by Bill Tard. Chain is freshly sharpened from STI Turf and Lawn Care down here in Colfax, North Carolina. We're going to go ahead, hit the primer button on the back 10, 20 times. Now, uh, this saw goes for, about, I think, about $159. I'm going to just post them below the saws. I don't know all their prices off the top of my head, and I don't want to guess and have to re-go back, so I'll just give you guys the exact price that I see on there. I'm just going to start her up and uh, start cutting with it. Got to turn it on, of course. seconds just to warm up again and then we'll go at it.
I made two cuts. The first one went down straight and nice. The second time I kept sliding off to the side and uh, cutting the bottom out a little bit more. So I didn't go fully through, but I guess I guess you guys see the difference. It's a, it's a good saw. I like it a lot. I have no issues with it. Um, it always starts up, but that's the TNA. Let's move on to the Echo and see how that does. So here it is, the Echo CS590. It has that decompression for the cylinder. It's very, uh, it's like one of my favorite chainsaws. If you guys didn't know, if you come off over here, you could actually use the handle of the pull start and put it right into where the oiler or the gas is to help you twist that cap open. That's what it's made for. Pretty nifty thinking. I like that a lot. So I'm going to start her up. All these chainsaws are running for about a minute or two already, so they're warmed up. I'm just going to start it and start cutting with it. guys so that's the echo we'll go to the steel here's the ms291 steel start her up hopefully she starts back up and start going from there That's the MS291. Now we're gonna go to the farm. Now we're gonna go to the farm boss, the 271. That's the last. All right, guys. Here is the MS271. Pull start her. See how she does. Same startup process as the other. Uh, the other steel. <laughs> I guess they all do that.
was the steel MS271, guys. This is a great chainsaw, too. All right, guys, so there are the four chainsaws. We have the Biltard TNA006, the Steel Farm Boss 271, the Echo CS590, and the Steel 291. Again, I'm not a professional. I am not, I don't do this. I'm not an arbor. I'm not a professional review guy either. Three of these are mine. One is my buddy's, David, right here. Thank you very much. I appreciate you letting me borrow your chainsaw. Uh, I, I think they all work great. I mean, I'm an average homeowner, so I could probably get away with this TNA006 with no issues anywhere around here. My favorite saw personally is the Echo, but I really do like the uh, the Steels too by, I mean, all you guys, professional guys, you know, you use them all day long. So, I mean, you guys let me know. I'm not here to tell you anything. This is, that's what I like. Let me know what you guys like. Guys, if you like this sort of thing, if you don't mind, I have another 200 or so videos. I'll put one or two up here. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Again, my name is Joe. We're down here at my parents' six-acre property in North Carolina. Uh, if you don't mind, please hit that like button. It really helps out. It really helps the channel grow. And thank you all 1,600 plus that are uh, tuned in all the time. And again, I'll put a video here or there. And uh, please go ahead and uh, watch a few more. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so, so much again. I hope you have a great day. Bye.